What's going on guys? Welcome back to Mind Body Attraction. I look so I actually had somebody message me they're like why do you always look to the left when you when you start your videos? I have my Audacity recording over there and I want to make sure the recording is on so you guys aren't going to just hear the cell phone. Um, the cell phone. I'm recording this on a on a phone and uh, I want you guys to make sure that you're hearing this, okay? That's why I do that. <laughs> I don't really I don't really get too bothered by by certain things like that, but some people are like are just generally like genuinely um, um, curious. So join the email list, follow me on Instagram, and message me there if you want some coaching. Okay. And speaking of coaching, if you really, really, really need help, and if you really want to make sure that you're on the right track and you're getting all the the making all the right steps and doing all the stuff that you need to be doing properly, and these videos aren't providing that for you, um, book a session with me and email me at. Um, uh, for now, I'm going to be using powerful relationships, 27 at gmail.com. I have to re I have to set up my, my domain email again. I don't know what's going on with it, but the emails aren't forwarding properly. So, um, um, email me there and it, I'll leave it down below and I'm going to restructure my description page as well. So I'm actually going to write some stuff in there and I'm going to go back and change all that. But, um, you came to this video for the title. So follow me on all that stuff and, and do all that. So let's get right into the video. So the video that we're going to be tackling today is why most men fail with women. Okay. So number, the, the number, number one reason that I want to talk about this is, um, the way that our society is going is changing the way that things are, are, are starting to come together with the movements that are going on with the way that men and women are interacting with each other and society is changing. Um, a lot of shit's changing. If you actually pay attention to the way that men were about 50 years ago, back in no, 60 years ago, back in the 1950s and 60s, early, and even before that, men were just different. And so were women. Now, women have come a really, really long way. They can now vote. They can now, they have a lot more power. Uh, they are starting to get better jobs. They're, they're, they're starting to move. Uh, they're starting to progress in, at an extremely um, fast rate. Now, this matters because men have already been sort of, they've already been in this position. So with the females coming forward and, and doing what they are doing, it's changing the way that men and women dance with each other. Okay. So a relationship is just a subtle dance of, of, of keeping her attracted to you, keeping her interested in, and in unfolding that love story. So when you start to see more women becoming more empowered a lot of them are saying to themselves what do i really need a man for and this is this is i think this starts to go a little bit too far forward because if you're attracted to men well you're going to be attracted to men anyways right and that's a whole other argument and that's not what this channel is about so but i'm just pointing out the facts okay so why most men are failing with women now is because they don't know what they don't know how to dance with them properly. Okay. Now females are far, far, far better at knowing how relationships work emotionally than they are, than men do. Men are more logical creatures. We're more like, we, we, and we're, we're loyal, extremely loyal. So even if a relationship's going wrong, um, um, sometimes men will stick it out and be like, I just love you just cause I love you. Not because, um, you know, let's like, let's work on it longer. Whereas a female, if, if, if her emotions starting or her attraction level starting to drop and her emotions aren't engaged anymore, she'll leave you like no problem. Right. A man will stick around a little bit longer. And this is no knock on women at all because they just operate differently. It's nothing wrong with you guys for doing that shit. But this is why the MGTOW movement is becoming such a big thing. And I'll, I'll make another video on that. MGTOW means men going their own way. So a lot of men are participating in this movement because they are like, fuck women. I don't really care anymore. Me, Personally, I can understand where they're coming from because you see a lot of weird shit happening with relationships these days. You're starting to see like, it's just so far in one way or another. Now, there are a lot of females who can have like a totally um, businessy kind of uh, like, like, like personality, like, like kind of like the opposite of a housewife. Um, you know, they're very much go getter, uh, you know, like they're maybe they're the breadwinner, but when they come home, the man better be the man. Do you know what I'm saying? So the man has to be 
a specific way and it has to be it has to she has to find him attractive right this is where the dynamics changing because when she comes home she's going to bring home that business attitude listen to me and do what i say right and the man is the one that used to be like that and it's and this is where the struggle is beginning to people are butting heads more about it okay and i've experienced this before here's a good example when your woman asks you where do you want to go tonight for dinner what do you do Oh, I don't know, honey. Where do you want to go? Instead of just picking a place and going, what I'll do is I'll say, okay, in my mind, I want to go here and here tonight. What do you think about those two places? And if she's like, I don't really care where we go, then I pick a place. You know what I did? I, I made the decision and I'm trying to lead the direction of where the date's going to go tonight. Okay. And it's going to end up in the bedroom later. Look, okay? right. But that's the whole point of dating. That's the whole point of marriage and this whole point of relationships is is bonding and connecting, right? And then procreation, that's what we're here to do. And there's just been so much in between all that and people get confused and what's going on. So I wanna get back on track here. Men are failing because they don't know what to do with the women that, that are like this. They don't know how to act. So what I do is I tell them to completely qualify these women. Instead of going out with a girl that is like this and trying to change her, go out with a female that is more in her feminine instead of in her masculine masculine women are going to be go-getters and goal achieving people right and again there's there's feminine and masculine energies in all of us but where's hers lying if this is far 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 feminine she's going to be the most like like how can i help you like what can i do to you know she's gonna be the most feminine over here and the mo and then there's masculine men over here is she like over here right you got to think about this stuff and a lot of this this will happen during a relationship this and uh, like a marriage will go on and sometimes the roles reverse so a man a woman will start over here right and then as the relationship progresses he starts going this way and she starts going this way and then they end up passing and that's when she starts finding you not as attractive because you're not the man she was the man that uh, you were when they started dating do you see and as women become more and more empowered this is going to affect what's happening at home and that's why you need to be the most masculine man you can be are you pursuing your goals and dreams and doing all the masculine things that you should be doing are you or are you not take a good hard look in the fucking mirror make sure that you are because if you're sitting around and she's okay so as as society's progressing society's on her side right now society's going to help her push forward and right now society is kind of shitting on men right now because of uh like like all the shit things that have been happening with like the me too movement and all that stuff and um so women are becoming more and more empowered okay and this is this is going to be pushing her forward. So this is a forward thing. And you're kind of being there stagnant, if not going in reverse. So you need to make sure that you're on your game. You need to make sure that you're fucking you're 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 taking care of business. Are you are you improving your financial situation? Are you doing everything you can to be that masculine man that she thinks you are? Because she's gonna be becoming more empowered as time goes by. And it's going to be, it's going to create this odd dynamic. And she's going to actually expect you to be more of a man than she is. She's not going to be, she doesn't want to date a woman. She doesn't want to date a feminine man. Right. And this is what's breaking relationships up because this happens over time as well. So 10 year marriages, seven year marriages can totally experience this. Sometimes people will get together and they're like really close. Like, you know, um, they're here and here and it just doesn't take much for them to cross. But sometimes they'll start like this and then eventually as time goes by and this is what happens and this is why men get so fucking thrown when their wives leave them because this happens and they're cross now now they're crossing on the spectrum of feminine and masculine so the woman should be over here in her feminine as much as possible and it, and as society's progressing it's going to push her this way because she's going to be more of a go-getter because society's like you know awe to women and then the men are going to start going like this because naturally this is it, it, we're getting pushed this way okay and you need to make sure that you keep doing this and staying in your masculine essence and your in your core it needs to be strong and you need to be make sure you're pushing and breaking barriers and staying as attractive as possible because as she gets more powerful then your relationship's going to start changing and as you start doing this her attraction level starts doing this 
Okay. My bad. If I keep tapping the mic, I felt it a couple times. So as the attraction level drops and are you paying attention to those actions? So it's the little things that matter. Okay. And earlier I said like the, the, the indecisiveness that, that females, females can't even decide what they want to fucking wear in the morning. You should see my girlfriend sometimes. I wish I could, I don't, I don't want to fuck up the, the camera angle, but the, the closet like of my girlfriend, she'll put something on and then like five minutes later, she's got to change. 10 minutes later, she's got to change. She's like, I don't know. I don't like the way this forms around my body and shit like that. So if they can't decide what they want to wear, how can they decide on where they want to go to eat? And if you hear this shit from a woman, by the way, if, if you go to a restaurant and you pick the restaurant and she says, oh, I don't like this here. It's like, to me, that's a bit of a test because if you agree with her, then that means like, okay, I'll give you a perfect example. Say you go to a restaurant. Uh, let's say the restaurant, like here in Canada, we have like Jack Astor's, Montana's, um, shit like that. Say you go to a restaurant. Say you go to Jack Astor's, for example. And earlier she was like, hey, like what restaurant do you want to go to? And you're like, okay, I either want to go to Montana's or Jack Astor's. I'm in the mood for steak. Okay. Then when you decide to choose that place and you guys go there, she's like, Oh, I really, 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 I was really in the mood for this. It's like, okay, then why didn't you say anything earlier? This is where we are. And this is where we're staying tonight. Let's have a good time. And if she keeps testing you, just be like, look, if you want to cancel this date, we can cancel the date, but we're here now and let's have a good time. Pick some food and let's talk and then just kind of spin it back on her. Okay. And then what she's going to do. And if you pass those tests, she'll be like, okay. Because all she really cares about is looking hot and going out and having a good time and having fun. That's all she fucking cares about. If she's not even hungry, then she won't eat anything. All right. She'll watch you eat. <laughs> all right. And this is where men are fucking up because men are so, they care too much about what's going on with her. Okay. They give too, they give too much of a fuck instead of, instead of that. Just be like, you don't want to eat. Don't fucking eat then. Don't fucking care. I came here to have a steak. I could eat alone if I really wanted to. That is what masculinity is all about. They don't give a fuck about anything. And this doesn't mean you have to be a dickhead. It just means that you have to be willing to let her go and do whatever the fuck she wants to do. And if she's an asshole about it and she doesn't have a good attitude, let her go. You shouldn't be with a person like that anyways. And that's going to trigger some fucking people because they're like, Oh, well, huh? Because they're fucking offended that, that they think that they can't choose a woman, woman properly. If you qualified better, you'd be dating a better person. If you weren't so afraid to be alone, you'd be in a better position in life. And people don't like that shit, but that's not my job. You're not supposed to like this because you're supposed to be taking a good hard look at yourself and making yourself better. That's my job. And if you don't like it, don't watch my videos, like seriously. But I just want you to be the best version of yourself you can be, especially the men. Because right now, I feel like, okay. I have, my okay, my father is half black, so I'm a quarter, right? So growing up, seeing the things that my father sort of had to hear and deal with, even in Canada, okay? Everyone thinks that Canada is this like super awesome, special place. Um, there's still racism here. There's still all that shit here. So I heard a lot of stuff growing up. So I saw a lot of uh, oppression, but not really like it wasn't real like oppression like it was years and years and years ago. But it was enough for me to be like, that's not right. You shouldn't say that. Right. You can't do that. So I saw a lot of that. And if there are any kind of people being oppressed by another, I don't like that very much. So females moving forward and earning more power. I don't see that as an issue, but the side effect of that is men are becoming afraid of even approaching women. Like there are some really, really, really good, really, some guys that are fantastic with fem females that would go up right up to one, start touching them and be like, Hey baby, like what's your phone number? call the police and this guy's not going to jail. Do you know what I'm saying? So I'm re right now, I really want to fight for the guys and just make sure that they're in their masculine and that they, they qualify who they're dating. Okay. And that's, that's what all I'm, that's all I'm, uh, that's all I'm about. If you guys think that you could point out some more stuff, comment down below, like subscribe, 
and uh, go over to my blog at powerfulrelationships.co. I will put a post on this over there eventually, Um, but videos come first. I love you guys. See you in the next one. I'll be making another video right after this.